Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to show you what strategy to use when your opponent comes to the net. Now, this video is sponsored by PlayerCourt.com. If you want to play more tennis and find people in your local area to compete against or even just practice with or find a coach who's close to you, use my link in the description, PlayerCourt.com slash 2MinuteTennis to get 50% off when you join. So first, let's watch this point in its entirety, and then we'll diagram it. So absolutely brilliant execution by the baseliner here. So the server serves, and they hit a couple shots back and forth. I actually thought that ball was out, but thought it was an honest call by the returner not to call that ball out. He said, yeah, it was close enough to not call out. I thought that was good. So here's an approach down the middle, which obviously he didn't mean to do. So we don't even have to comment on that. And so he approaches down the middle, but this, and by the way, our opponents approach down the middle on us all the time, you know, <laughs> we... We, so we got to know what to do when we are this player because this happens to us all the time. So this is where a lot of baseliners get in trouble because when the opponent is coming forward, they think, all right, I'm going to avoid them. And they think I'm going to pass this way. I'm going to pass this way. I'm going to lob. Look, when your opponent's coming to the net, it's actually a good idea to involve them. The chances of winning the point go up if you involve them. So just hit the ball low over the net down the middle. And that's exactly what you see happen. The baseliner gives the ball to the approacher's feet, and that's when the ball then pops up. He then comes in, and then he goes for the pass down the line, which I'm a huge fan of. When you're running forward inside the court, you want to pass down the line. It's usually wide open, and there's actually more court to hit into. When your opponent comes forward, I want you to avoid the idea that you're supposed to avoid them. <laughs> I kind of stumbled upon my words there, but you don't want to think, oh, I, I can't give them the ball. You're not playing Serena Williams. You're not playing Roger Federer. Don't think that you have to avoid them because when you avoid them, that's when you end up missing. Why not just hit the ball low right to them? Half the time, they're going to screw it up, but the other half of the time, they're just going to pop it up, and this is exactly what happens. He pops it up, and he gets this easy ball to then come in and pass. Now, let's look at this from the baseliner standpoint. I want you to watch what he does the moment he hits this ball. So watch, he hits the ball and watch where he moves. We can see right here, his front foot. We can see that above the net, but watch. He, he's well behind the baseline. He hits the ball and watch where he goes. See how he's running forward? So he hits the ball low over the net and then he immediately moves forward expecting a pop-up. So he hits the ball low expecting the ball to pop up. Then he comes in and goes for the pass. Absolutely on purpose. This strategy is exactly what he was trying to do. He thought, you know what? I'm going to involve the net player. Rather than avoid the net player, I'm just going to hit the ball right to the net player. But I'm going to hit it low, force the ball to pop up, and then he can come in for the pass. This is called the two-shot passing shot strategy. Go for a pass when your opponent comes forward, but go for the passing shot on the second shot. Hit low down the middle for the first shot as the safe play. Then you come in with a much easier shot where the ball's just sitting there, you're well inside the baseline, and you can then hit the easy pass. All right, let me show you what this looks like on the big board. Now that video was courtesy of Matt Lynn on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to his awesome channel. I put his link in the description below. All right, there are five phases of a singles point. You're either serving, you're returning, you're rallying, your opponent's coming to the net, or you're going to the net. That's basically it. And you want to know what to do in each phase of a singles point. We're talking about your opponent coming to the net. When your opponent comes to the net, involve them in the point. Don't avoid them. And in most cases, when you involve them in the point, the chances of winning the point go up. So you hit a short ball, your opponent then attacks, and they're coming forward. Now, when they come forward, they're usually around the service line by the time you're making contact. So there's room here to dip the ball low. Now, do you need a ton of topspin to do this? Absolutely not. You don't even need topspin to do this. You're just gonna hit low down the middle, right? So you want, we want the ability to vary how high over the net we're hitting the ball. You should have the ability to hit low over the net, just like you should have the ability to lob. You want to be able to vary the height you're aiming. 
over the net and it's called an air target. So when your opponent comes forward, you're gonna hit low over the net and you're going to hit it down the middle. That way it's right at their feet. Many of your opponents don't split step. Probably the vast majority of your opponents don't split step properly when they're coming forward, which means when you hit the ball low at their feet, they just kind of run into the shot and they can't do much with that ball. So often they're just gonna miss that shot. But when they don't miss that shot, just like we saw with that player who came forward, he hit this weak ball that popped up. So this is why I call it the two shot passing shot strategy. You hit it first low to them and then you step inside the court. Just take one big or two big forward steps. And if you can get inside the baseline, that's great. When they hit that weak ball and the ball pops up, you're now gonna come forward and that's when you go for the pass. And I would highly recommend that you hit your passing shots in singles in this situation when you're moving forward down the line. Anytime you are in front of the baseline, hit a down the line passing shot, it is usually wide open. Now this is one of the strategies I'm gonna be covering in my Two Minute Tennis Virtual Tennis Camp on March 12th from 12 to 4 p.m. New York City time. The whole thing's gonna be recorded, so even if you can't make it live, once you grab your ticket, you're gonna be sent the whole recording afterward. But we're gonna be going over grips, every grip in tennis, from continental to eastern backhand, eastern forehand, semi-western, full western. What are the benefits, what are kind of the, 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 the downsides of each grip when it comes to your strokes? We're gonna talk about footwork and split steps, open stance, neutral stance, closed stance, mogul stance. What are the stances that you want to use when you are playing tennis? We're going to talk about every technique there is from serve, forehand, backhand, slice backhand, volleys, and overhead so you know exactly what to look for when you go out and practice your strokes and film yourself and you scroll through the video and you know what to correct and what to keep doing because you know that it's right. And we're going to talk about single strategy, double strategy, ways to simply dominate your opponents both in singles and doubles. And, and you also get a Zoom private lesson with me where you get to schedule it at a time that's convenient for you, where you send me videos of you hitting your forehand or your backhand, maybe you wanna work on your serve, or maybe you wanna work on your strategy and your match play. You send me videos of you playing and we will meet live on Zoom and I will teach you exactly the changes to make in your technique and your footwork and in your strategy to increase the likelihood that you win. The class or this camp is gonna be live on Zoom. You don't have to be on a tennis court. You can be right in your office or in your kitchen. The class is $247, and if you go to twominutetennis.net right now, you can sign up. I am so excited for this camp, and it's these kind of strategies for those four hours from techniques to grips to footwork to strategy that you're gonna be learning about to absolutely take your game to a new level. When your opponent comes forward, aim low to their feet. Half the time they'll screw it up and the other half they pop it up, you come in and you go for the down the line pass. You use the two shot passing shot strategy and there is no doubt you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from twominutetennis.net. You got this.